welcome back to my, hey guys, welcome back to my first ever Mortal Kombat video, actually, it was my second, this is top 10 things that you should do in Mortal Kombat mobile, now, let's get started, number one, is quests, quests are very big in this game, because they give you lots of souls, and you can use these souls in the store to unlock much better characters, gold or diamond and not only that but you get rare gear and sometimes characters if you get all the way to 100 and just renew re ren ren own i think renown so you get anything if you complete it number two the classic challenge if you have the characters that you need try to complete it but if you don't, maybe try to complete only this one in uh, uh, normal mode because that only requires uh, bronze characters, maybe a few silver characters in the middle. But if you don't have any, any to complete the whole thing, just do as much as you can. Number two is Shao Kahn's Tower. This, including this update, has made the talents even better because now the talents are actually in faction wars and what they do is give you uh, more abilities stronger see much stronger and not only that but you get gold and I don't know what happens that when you beat the whole thing but when you beat it I'm pretty sure you get Shao Kahn diamond character I guess I have no idea but if you do do this you get coins and souls and stuff like that number four is faction wars because what that is is over here you're going to be able to see how far you're going through the whole season and not only that but once you go to season rewards, you'll be able to see what you can get after the season is over or done. And there is a free gold character in there. And, but you need to be in silver. So you need to keep grinding up. So, and these blood rubies get Ermac. He's really good for siphoning 10% health in the tower. Number 5 is... Your purchases, aka what you should get in Faction Wars. Now, personally, I don't mind whichever one I want or get, but I would recommend getting Ermac because it's gonna be very useful in the tower. And your equipment, you can get any equipment you want, really. But for consumables, I recommend you don't get any because it's not really worth it. It's a lot, and also. There's a free video you can watch that you can gain health instead. So just get equipment and characters. Number six would be Survivor. Now, in Survivor, you get more battle ratings than in uh, Quick Battle or in Quick Play. Yeah, in any of that, you get a lot of battle rating, which accumulates really fast. See that much you got right there, and you beat a lot of them. And if you beat this one, that says hard, you can actually go move on into the next one and keep going up, and you'll get even more battle rating. And there are some characters that are, have a unique ability or unique, uh, like uh, extra battle rating, like right here, Hold on. right there, 1.6, 5.0. They're gonna make your Battle points accumulate even faster. So, so keep leveling them up. Number seven, max out your Kenchi, your silver Kenchi, because he is one of the best silver cards in the game and a really great character in general. And not only that, but he gets you super far in the tower. And trust me, if you have him maxed out, you're gonna probably destroy the tower. No, with only a little minor problems because they're 
really strong. But as long as you have Silver Kenshi right here, you're going to be able to defeat them. Number 8, Tower Battles. Now, right now we don't have one. But there is the Adenian Tower that is coming up soon. And what the rewards that you get every time you do boss battles is gold and sometimes even diamond characters. So even if you won't be able to beat it, like to battle 200, you should still try to take out as much as you can. Because it's going to help you a lot in maxing your cards out. And there's some Adenian gear that works only in Adenian and sometimes in Faction Wars. But you get more gear depending on the tower and how well you do. 9 or 10 I think. This is number 10. Okay. Save up your souls. Why? Because in here, in the store, or in the card packs, you'll be able to get a lot of good cards and not only that but sometimes they are on sale which makes the souls even more worth it to save and also in your characters area you can buy any character you need evolve or max them out if you don't know if they're gonna show up over here and also they sometimes contain gears and diamonds in here Guys, so much for you. like what you see. Please do subscribe or leave a like if you can. For right now, keep grinding souls. Peace out.